Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT Varsity, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time we are talking about uh, data to analytics. Um, as part of this course, I am actually previewing the uh, Cloudera Quick Start VM. We have seen MySQL database as well as Cloudera Manager. Now we will see Hadoop ecosystem, HDFS, MapReduce, Scoop, Hive, Spark, etc. And just a quick preview. We will not get into too many details here. We will just make sure that uh, all these components can be accessible. As part of this video, I will try to cover almost everything. Uh, if it goes beyond 20 minutes, then I will record another video. So for that, make sure you got into the Cloudera Quick Start VM. And uh, if the Cloudera Manager is started, and if you see these errors, you can actually click on this. Uh, there is a clock offset uh, uh, error. You can actually suppress this. This is not relevant. confirm just to erase as many warnings as possible and also we will not be using hbase hue impala all these uh, all these things as part of uh, this playlist so we can actually stop those things that are not required so that our environment is little bit more stable so that you can actually click on these things click on stop click on stop we will stop hue also so to delete, first we have to delete hue and then we have to delete the other stuff. I want to stop Impala also. If required, we can add those things later. And uh, I will stop scoop 2 also because we will not be covering scoop 2 as well in this. And then I will stop key value store indexer and then I will stop solar and then I will stop woody also okay so once these are stopped we will start deleting from hue first delete hue you cannot delete uh, many other tools if you don't delete hue because uh, they are all will be dependent on hue once hue is, hue is deleted we can delete uh, many of the other to uh, other tools so i will be deleting impala I will be deleting HBase. HBase is dependent on key value store indexer or key value store indexer. Uh, uh, there is a dependency between the two. So first we have to delete key value store indexer and then HBase. And then OZ. and then solve and then scoop to so now we have only the tools which we will be covering as part of this course those are scoop spark hive hdfs and yarn is required for processing the data so now as part of the preview we will not get into too many details we will just launch the terminal and run hadoop fs command to see what all commands are there so there are several commands under hadoop fs um, uh, such as uh, hyphen ls hyphen mkdir and many other things so uh, similar to linux mkdir is to create a directory in uh, hdfs ls is to list the files so and also uh, Hadoop file system actually starts with slash similar to Linux slash is the root file system for uh, HDFS as well and you can see that slash have several directories slash user slash tmp slash hbase slash benchmarks and slash var and if you do L ls on slash user you will see a directory with name cloudera it is created as part of out of uh, as part of the vm itself 
okay so there is a directory called user cloudera and we will be using this directory for all our purposes in future so we will also make a file by running touch command testing and hadoop fs minus put testing is the file name which we are trying to copy into hdfs from the local file system by running touch command we have created a empty file on our local file system and now i am using a command called hyphen put under hadoop fs to copy this file from local file system on the vm into hdfs under this location user cloudera so we are just validating that our hdfs is running without any issues and now we, we can see hadoop fs minus ls user cloudera and you can see uh, the testing file is copied successfully and now we will run a map reduce job we don't uh, um, run it on a very large job uh, or on very large data set for that what we will do is we will create a file called word count dot txt and here we will say hello world we are trying to test word count program using map reduce framework it is just to validate map reduce is set up map reduce setup is fine on the vm on the virtual machine you can have any text free flowing text once you do that again you can run hadoop fs minus put command on word count to user cloudera so this word count dot txt file will be copied to hdfs under location user cloudera and now you can run sudo find command from the root file system to find a jar file called hadoop star examples star dot jar so star hadoop star examples star dot jar if there are any prefixes or suffixes for that examples jar file we will get uh, the complete file name by doing so so here there are several um, of them and we will use this one user lib hadoop map reduce don't use hadoop 0.0.20 uh, .0 map reduce because it it is older version and uh, it has uh, uh, it might not uh, it is not required to run it's it's it belongs to the older version and they provide those jar files just to for the validation of backward compatibility so here to run a map reduce job you have to run hadoop jar command provide this jar file name and then there are several map reduce programs in that jar file one of them is word count if you are not sure about it you just uh, copy the jar file name and hit enter it will provide all the valid uh, programs or uh, applications that are part of that jar file so here we want to run word count program and uh, it takes a input directory and output directory the input uh, directory or input file name is user cloudera word count dot txt and uh, output is you have to give a directory name you can't give the file name so I just give output and hit enter now a map reduce job will run which will try to process the data in word count dot txt and it will give the count of each word in our text which we have entered and which uh, and that file is copied into hdfs so it, it the job is started once it is done we will review the output directory to see that it is successfully run here as part of the preview we are just trying to get hands on about simple commands to validate our setup is usable for future purposes so now we can say hadoop fs minus ls slash user slash cloudera slash output and hit enter there will be a file in that which will have the word count you can actually run hadoop fs minus cat 
to read the contents of the file cloudella output slash part hyphen r hyphen 0 0 0 0 0 and hit enter and we will get the count of each word in our data set ok so our map reduce validation is also done now we will actually validate the rest of the ecosystem tools ok uh, first thing is scoop we will not run any scoop commands here we will just validate that scoop is available here if you run scoop and if you hit enter if scoop is available it will actually uh, show the usage of the scoop and uh, you can actually run scoop help and uh, you you will get all the uh, all the commands that are available in scoop so we will actually uh, run some scoop commands later when we try to migrate data from hadoop uh, uh, sorry migrate data from mysql database into hadoop cluster now the scoop is validated and next one is hive to launch hive you can just type hive and hit enter and it will launch hive once uh, the hive is launched you can say show tables if there are any tables because the vm is just downloaded and we have not created any tables it will not show any tables we will see how to create those tables and all those things briefly when we actually talk about the course and show databases will list the databases and as of now there is only one database called default database and again we will create another database for retail underscore db data and we will try to process using uh, uh, spark yeah, so our hive is also seems to be fine exit and hit enter and now we will validate spark so spark hyphen shell and hit enter by default it will run in the yarn context and uh, uh, it should not throw any exceptions if spark is configured properly so we have spark 1.6 on this vm so there is some issue with the spark it is not showing the details uh, because uh, we lo lose the track let me change the settings terminal edit profile preferences and I want to have 5000 lines for the scrolling and then close and now I will exit from here clear and uh, hit enter so there is some file permission issue I think uh, um, we need to come up with a quick workaround so that spark is usable for our future videos i will show the uh, how i will show how to fix this issue but we will be using cloudera only as a user to perform all the tasks i think it is the permissions issue yeah so you can see that there is a permission issue uh, the user spark application history is owned by spark and uh, super group and as we are running using cloudera it is not able to create some directories um, as cloudera in that application history that's why it is failing so there are multiple ways to work this issue one is to come out of it and then hadoop fs minus ch1 sorry ch mod 777 minus r so we are actually opening up the permissions on application history directory okay you have to take care of this so this one you cannot directly do it using uh, user cloud error hence we have to sudo to hdfs hdfs is the owner for 
the HDFS file system. HDFS is a user name here. So I am trying to run this Hadoop FS command as user HDFS by using sudo minus u HDFS. This will make the command to run as user HDFS and hit enter. Now the permissions will be changed without any issues. I think uh, hyphen capital R. We don't need to actually give hyphen capital R. We just need to have permissions on application history. Now we can actually do spark shell and hit enter and uh, it will be started without any issues. So now you can see that SC is uh, available, Spark context is available as SC. SC is nothing but a variable which will be created if the Spark shell is launched correctly. So Spark shell is accessible on our Cloudera Quick Start VM without any issue. Make sure that you actually run this command to, to open up the permissions on application history directory which is under user Spark. And now we want to validate PySpark also. PySpark can hit enter. PySpark is uh, the Spark uh, uh, command line interface for Python. So if you want to develop applications using Python, then PySpark is the command to launch the command line interface for Python and it also started without any issues. And also, there is a Spark SQL, I think. No, Spark SQL is not available uh, in this version, but in the earlier versions, they used to provide Spark SQL also. Anyway, we don't need to launch Spark SQL at this time. So that being said, we have previewed almost all the tools that are important for our uh, course. So whatever demonstrations I will make um, uh, as part of our course to integrate the data and also to process the data uh, uh, on uh, Cloudera Quick Start VM is demonstrated briefly. And as part of the next video, uh, we will actually set up environment uh, uh, by installing Tableau and also we have to uh, set up the tableau connectors to hive spark and also mysql and then we will actually go to the main course where we will define the problem statement and uh, try to accomplish the goals such as the processing the data using spark and visualizing the data using tableau that being said i hope you are enjoying the content on the of the course if you like this video or if you want to provide the feedback please click uh, click on the like button of my youtube video or uh, please provide the feedback using comment section of the video. If you are watching this on Udemy, please provide the feedback on Udemy. And uh, if you want to discuss further about uh, Hadoop or Big Data, please join my LinkedIn group called ITVarsity hyphen Big Data. And finally, if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so and stay tuned on both Udemy or and or uh, YouTube channel for uh, a lot more content like this uh, on my uh, on these platforms that being said thank you bye